Hornady Manufacturing, founded by Joyce Hornady in 1949, has grown from humble beginnings after World War II to become an industry giant. Steve Hornady, the current president, shared the fascinating story of the company's history and growth. He grew up around firearms, helping his father with bullet making and going on prairie dog safaris as a young boy in Nebraska. His father started making bullets during World War II and later ventured into the bullet business in 1949. Steve started working for the company at a young age, eventually taking on a more significant role as he got older. His mother also played a crucial role in the company, managing the household and keeping the books for his father. The company expanded its offerings to include cartridges as well as bullets, responding to a demand from shooters who didn't handload. Steve took over the company after a tragic plane crash in 1981 that took the lives of his father and two other company executives. One of Hornady's significant achievements was the development of the .17 HMR cartridge, which was well received in the industry. The company's focus on new bullet design is driven by personal interest and market demand. Steve's personal interests in shooting have evolved over the years, and his family shares his enthusiasm for shotgun shooting and big game hunting. He has traveled the world for hunting, with polar bear hunting being one of his most memorable experiences. The company's collaboration with Springfield Armory has led to the development of new offerings and has impacted ammunition sales. Hornady has responded to ammunition shortages by increasing production but faces challenges in finding qualified personnel and expanding the factory. Hornady's success in making and marketing products is attributed to offering the best value and consistently accurate and dependable products. The company has driven or influenced some shooting sports trends, such as the popularity of long-range shooting. Steve is active in the National Shooting Sports Foundation and supports events and organizations that promote shooting sports and the Second Amendment. Looking ahead, he sees a role for himself in development and plans to give more attention to productivity and efficiency. A guiding principle that Steve brings to work each day is to be as fair and generous as possible. Reflecting on the last 30 years, he has no major regrets but acknowledges the need for more aggressive development in ammunition and primer making. He expressed gratitude for the interview and the opportunity to share insights into Hornady's story. The Armory Life Forum provides a space for readers to discuss articles and engage in conversations about guns and gear.